Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech, your right to repair guy, and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. First of all, I know it's been a long time and I've been making videos for a while because I was busy in some of my personal work, but now I am back. So now you will get constant videos and updates about the tools and other information. Okay, so let's start today's video. So in today's video, I'll show you how you can bypass the MDM lock screen on the latest iOS 18 on any iPhone model, whether it's the latest iPhone 16 series or down to the older iPhone 4s you can use it on all the models and it also works for any iPad model whether you have a latest M4 chipset or down to the lower iPads also if you have an iPod it will work for that too so it's a all-in-one bypass tool and you can try this video if you have a similar kind of issue on your iDevice and make sure that the MDM locks are different from the iCloud one most of the people mix both the things but both the things are different so now without further delays let me just go to my computer screen and start this process Alright, so today's method and tool is for Mac user, but if you are a Windows user, I already made a dedicated video on the same so you can check out this video, links are in description and for the download links, you can check out the description, you will get all there. You have to download this HFZ MDM tool for iPhone or iPad version 2.9 for the Mac or Windows as per your requirement. After the download, you can simply install it on your system and in some cases, you have to allow the app from security and privacy. Now once it's installed, you are ready to use the tool. Alright, so here is the MDM bypass tool interface. Through on the tool, it shows iOS 17 support, but also the latest iOS 18 also supported with all the iPhones or iPad model, even the latest iPhone 16 series and with the latest M4 chipset. So all the iPhones models, iPad models and all the iOS versions are supported. You just need to confirm your devices on the MDM lock with the FMI or find my iPhone status is off. That means iCloud status must be off for this method. This is not for the iCloud bypass. So make sure you don't mix the things. Now next, connect your iDevice and in some cases, if your iDevice details not showing on the tool, that means you have to freshly restore your device from 3U tools or iTunes to the latest iOS version and then it will connect with the tool. Now once it detected, you have to register your serial number in the tool server first. So for that, you have to copy the serial number from the tool and you have to send it to me on my personal telegram for the registration. For the prizes and other information, you can contact me there. My official telegram link and all my other social media handle links are in description so you can check out from there. Now once your serial is registered, you can instantly use the tool, then reconnect your device and click on start and it will start bypassing the MDM block screen. Now it's started, now just wait for it to get complete, it will not take much time. Okay, so your device will go into this restore screen and make sure your device iCloud status or FMI status must be off. Then only this method will work. If your device is iCloud logged also, then it will not work. So now you can see it's done. Now just click on OK and you can close the tool and you can see your device will take a reboot. Now let's wait for it to get on. After the reboot, you will see this progress bar with Apple logo, your device is going into the restore state. So don't worry about this, it will take couple of minutes and after that your device will be done. So let's just wait.
Okay, so device is on. Now simply set up the device to the home screen. Alright, so it's done. We are on the home screen and you can see that we have successfully bypassed the MDM lock screen and everything looks good. Let me just show you from the settings. This is my iPad 7 generation. It's running on the latest iOS 18.2 and this MDM bypass also support the OTA updates. That means if you go to the settings and directly update to the any version that will be come in the future, it will not lock again. You can easily update to the newer one. So that's a good thing. The OTA updates are supported. So let me just do a quick reboot and show you after the reboot also everything will be working good. Alright so it's here now you can see that the device is on again and everything looks normal. So this is all for the MDM bypass on the latest iOS 18 for all the iPhones or iPad models. You can try it on any of your device that having the similar kind of issue and for the Windows users don't forget to watch this video. In this video I explain each and everything in detail for the same so links are in description. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this session. If yes just hit the like button and if you are new here please subscribe to the channel for more cool updates like this. I will see you in another video. So till then goodbye take care and peace out.